brand tech here, where tech is made simple. The latest optional preview update for Windows 11 KB5011563 is now available and started rolling out on the 28th of March 2022. Now compared to last month's February update, optional update for Windows 11, this latest update 5011563 is very thin on the ground when it comes to new features and there's actually just one new feature to mention in this latest optional update. Now just to mention some key highlights quickly, as mentioned the first is uh, a new feature regarding the notifications in Windows 11 where it will now display up to three high priority toast notifications simultaneously and this is for apps that send notifications for calls, reminders or alarms using Windows notifications and Microsoft says that now up to four toast notifications might appear simultaneously three high priority notifications and one normal priority notification so that's a minor little new feature and upgrade to notifications in Windows 11 and then there's also an issue um, that was causing Microsoft OneDrive files to lose focus after you rename them and press the enter key that bug has been resolved and then um, there's a, a return now that, that returns the corresponding settings page when you search for the word widgets. So those are three of the key highlights that have rolled out in this latest optional update. Now to see if you have the update as always you just head to the system settings, go to Windows Update and the update will appear as an optional update in Windows Update so you don't have to install it and as I say every month only um, download and install the optional updates if you're having any problems with your device as they are bug fix updates so only install the update if you have issues on your device and just um, to mention that if you don't install the update now a lot of the features and, and, and add-ons and bug, bug fixes will be carried over into next month's um, compulsory automatic patch Tuesday update and once you've installed the update, if you decide to install it, just restart your device and then you'll see the update listed under Windows Update History. Cumulative update for Windows 11 KB5011563. You can click on Learn More, which will take you to the release notes if you would like to get some more information. Now, just to mention some of the key uh, bug fixes and improvements. Um, as this is a non-security update which does include quality improvements. Now I'm going to go through these very quickly and these are all issues that have been resolved. There was an issue that turns off auto startup for universal Windows platform apps after you upgrade did the operating system. Uh, there was an issue with the search indexer.exe that prevented Microsoft Outlook's offline search from returning recent emails. Uh, another issue that's been addressed in this update uh, was an issue that increased the startup time for Windows and this was uh, to do with 5G wireless networks uh, where the uh, issue occurred because a UR thread in a networking API stopped responding when a 5G wireless uh, wide area network device was slow to wake up and then there's also a memory leak uh, bug that has been uh, addressed and this caused a lot of false alarms in the uh, system center operations manager data monitoring system so that has also now been fixed and then there another issue uh, that uh, incorrectly returned the execution policy settings from the registry has also been addressed and there was also an issue that caused an access denied exception for a file during a PowerShell test for AppLocker and um, we're almost at the end of all the bug fixes uh, issue that uh, caused the Kerberos.dll, I hope I got that pronunciation right, to stop working within the local security authority system, subsystem service has been fixed. And the last uh, bug fix to mention in this non-security update was an issue that prevented the user account control UAC dialog from correctly showing the application that is requesting elevated privilege has, privileges has been addressed. And then there's also a minor little add-on um, where there has been support added now for Microsoft account pass-through scenarios in Azure Active Directory Web Account Manager. So that's a little add-on over and above all those bug fixes as I've mentioned. And then of course, as always, the servicing stack, which is the component that installs Windows updates, has also been upgraded and updated in this latest update, KB5011563. Now just on a side note and something I have been reporting on in previous videos is now if you are running 
um, uh, an unsupported, uh, 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 if you are running unsupported hardware and you install this latest optional update now, you are going to see a watermark appear in the bottom right hand corner now of your uh, desktop saying system requirements not met. Go to settings to learn more. Now this was, as I've um, posted previously, was um, uh, spotted in uh, preview builds in the Insider channel and has now rolled out with this latest optional update to the stable channel and the stable version of Windows 11. So unfortunately, um, if your Windows 11 OS is unsupported, uh, uh, your Windows 11 machine is unsupported, um, you are now going to see system requirements not met in the bottom right hand corner of your desktop. But now, I did post a video um, in February on how to remove the system requirement warnings on unsupported Windows 11 devices where there is a registry hack you can try at your own risk and I will leave a link down below to that video if you would like to try to see if that still works to remove the watermark as it did remove the watermark in the preview builds but there's no guarantee though it will remove the watermark in the stable channel but you can try it and as I say I will leave a link down below if you are interested. Now once you have applied this optional update just to end off this video, uh, the latest uh, version and build now of the stable uh, uh, channel of Windows 11 will be version 21H2 OS build 22000.593. So that's the latest stable OS build now of the Windows 11 operating system. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.